Hello, it's day three of the 12 days of school days writing and I'm back with another school days related writing prompt and uh, an action point for you to take for yourself as a writer. So thanks for coming back again, the hard part is over, you've switched the video on, you've got your notebook and your pen at the ready and you're committed to this, uh, this journey for yourself as a writer, this 12 day writing challenge and it's, it's wonderful to have you and your creative energy Jay here and thank you for choosing me to uh, support you build a, a writing momentum that will hopefully stay with you long after these 12 days are, are over with okay so today is all about setting so I'd like you to bring a specific school day setting uh, back to life again so as with all these prompts perhaps give yourself some space to, to think about it go for a walk, do some repetitive activity. I find ideas come to me when I'm ironing or, or swimming, uh, for example. And when, just when I give myself a bit of space for my mind to wander, but give it a job to do, you know, to recall a particular memory or, or bring up an idea. Uh, so if I was to bring one of my uh, uh, school day settings to life, what immediately jumps into my mind is the, the main hall uh, at primary school um, where we'd have to, where the whole school would have to sit cross-legged in the, the stuffy hall, you'd see the dust sort of dancing in the air, uh, the smell of plimpsels, those who were in the last year before going up to secondary school could sit on the benches uh, at the back, um, there'd be the clattering of school dinners behind the scenes where they'd have got started on those. We had the, the hymn books, I think they were called Songs of Praise with the, I remember the, they were blue, I remember the pictures on the, the front of them, I remember the classical music, the hymns we had to, to sing, the head teacher droning on uh, and just that feeling of being a bit claustrophobic sitting cross-legged, not being able to go forward, backwards or sideways, sort of just really hemmed in. Uh, so you'll notice that my description of that particular setting used lots of senses um, and this, the sense of smell is particularly evocative so try and include that when you're bringing your school day setting uh, back to life. It doesn't need to be an indoors one, it could be an outdoors one. Um, and then for your action point today, um, I'd like you to do one thing to improve your writing space. So hopefully you do have a designated writing space at home. Uh, I'm very lucky to have this uh, spare room. It used to be my uh, son's, uh, but it's, uh, it's now being painted lilac, which you wouldn't want to come back to. Uh, there's no bed, there is my desk, my sit-stand desk, and I've made it my own. So there's, there's, there's pictures and uh, other things that get me uh, uh, in the mood for writing so for you it could be a special cushion it could be an essential oil it could be it could be a picture um, it, it, it could be music anything you like or a candle for example that's another one as well uh, just a, a nice uh, scented candle but something that evokes uh, the, the the writing muse within you to get started so if you're lucky enough to have a writing space do something to improve it or start thinking about uh, where could be your writing space even if you can just carve out um, a corner of the room which is what I had to do before my son left home um, and if you're enjoying uh, daily writing prompts I have a whole book of them which is absolutely free on Amazon just search for writing in inspiration and the fee Franklin and you can download that and there's, there's loads in there you'll never be short of writing ideas ever again okay so that's it for day three I'll be back tomorrow with another writing prompt and action point I hope you're enjoying it so far it's great to have you here and I'll see you again tomorrow bye for now